go to File, New, choose Template A4 for your piece of paper, OK. Now you need to drag a picture that you're going to work from from the folder and drop it onto the page. You can also open it through File Open or File Open Through Layers. I'm going to change the size of it. The shortcut is Shift S. And you can use the Move tool just to move it into the position you'd like to keep it with. I'm going to make a copy of it, so press the copy page at the bottom of the layers palette. I've made two copies. I'm now going to experiment with the, the threshold. So move the threshold slider to an effect that you think you'd like. You've got sliders both end of the threshold. I think I'm going to leave this, it looks a little bit unusual. Then you're going to press OK once you're happy with what your selection is going to be. It's looking a little bit like an ink print now. I'm going on to the uh, next layer, so each time you want to do something to your photograph, do it in a new layer or on another copy of your picture. So I've chose Dodge, I think, in the Layers palette. And now I'm going to go to Levels and then experiment with the slider in the Levels bar to get a more extreme contrast in the colour. So I'm moving the slider at the, in the lightest part of the Levels bar across and I'm going to move it into the middle and then OK when you're happy with the effect. I'm in the colours palette and I'm going to go into hue saturation and just pick the red colours. You could just use the slider for all the colours or choose individual colours to change the hue and experiment with the hue you would like in within your picture. And now I'm going to just choose the yellow colours and change those. I'm not sure what I'm changing it to. I'm just experimenting and then um, I'll stop once I like the effect that I've uh, created. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And the yellows have now turned to pink. And I'm going to press OK. So I have one layers with the black, black and white contrasting the other layer with extreme uh, colour levels. And now I'm going to try different modes within the filter um, within the uh, modes channel in the layers palette. I'm just, ex I, I, I've just inverted um, the level that I've chosen just to see what happens to it but uh, it's just looking white so I'm not entirely sure if anything's actually working with the palette so I don't know that this is working 
um, if you do something that you don't like, you can always go to Edit Undo. So although I can see the effect in the layers palette, I can't see anything actually on the page. So this is what I have back, going back onto the top layer, the black and white layer. And now I'm going to experiment with trying some different effects in the modes, in the mode palette. I think that doesn't have quite enough detail in that. But you can always, after you've changed the mode in the layers palette, you can always experiment with um, adding uh, levels to it. Oh, well, that's quite nice. I think I'll leave that. I think that was merging both layers together. It seems to have changed the colour. If you want to save it, you go to File, Export As, Save File, change the title at the top, call, call your collage something appropriate. There we are, Save File, press that, choose JPEG. And then export and export again and then it will be saved as a JPEG.